when you won the CrossFit Games, did you kind of try to find ways to promote, you know, the short stature division to other groups or like how, how did, how did that work? Like my first year, it wasn't so much about that for me. Like I was still trying to, I was new. So like, I didn't have that following or like this, anybody yeah. kind of, you know, there's connections just yet. Um, then this year happened and I won that, like won it again. I tied actually this year. Um, but I wanted to use this year to kind of actually one of our coaches at the gym, like she was kind of promoted to head coach slash like semi GM, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and she's like, I want to get an adaptive program here. And I was like, all right, like let's figure out who we have to talk to. And like, to get that happening and we found all the right people and we have a, an adapt like uh, an adaptive class every wednesday at our gym new cove crossfit and um it's you know so it's, it's amazing it's my favorite time of the week like because i never leave without like feeling good like feeling full like heart full type of deal mm -hmm. um but i've had a couple kids that i kind of mentor that have come to it but now they're like in the middle of school like it's hard like i get it like school is more important i mean i don't know why but you like, sure about that yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um so it's <clears throat> we'll get them back out we got another class that's going to start up at another gym here and at the end actually we're kind of kicking it off this weekend with a workout it's called the Lou. um it's about it's helping fight als mm -hmm. so um 44 rounds with a partner of uh, yeah luckily like everything's in fours so <laughs> it's gonna fly pretty quick i think but mm -hmm. it's just gonna be a matter of keeping track of how many times you've been through it yeah exactly <laughs> I, so I've, had, I've, had, I've had those situations where you have like 30 rounds and you're i'm like i do one round i'm like what number am i at and i just yeah. keep on asking the same thing over and over and over yeah. again <laughs> yeah my brain just shuts off. Like I just go into just survival mode and I'm like, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Someone else keep track for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like just, just, just put a line down. Like even like when I was doing yeah. Murph on myself, I literally had chalk and I just like, would just yeah. like just, yep. just slash a line. I'm like, okay, this is. I was I, using poker chips and I, I got to oh, a point yeah. where I was like, all right, which power did I just pull from? <laughs> I was like, I don't remember which vial I just grabbed from. Yeah, that, that's so, a, that's why that's why a whiteboard's pretty good too. So yeah, that is a good one. I and mean, usually I forget to mark it down. Then I'm like, how many rounds have I done since I last marked this thing? Yeah, so yeah. I need someone to count for me. Yeah, exactly. Like that, that. That's why I have a part. That's why I have a partner when I work out. It's just like because yeah. he he knows like what rep we're on, and I'm like yeah. I, I'm like, is this the third or the fourth? And he's like, this is the third. And I'm like, oh okay. So yeah, I just let's keep, see me. Just do that. So <laughs> I'm like, I need someone to keep track for me. As soon as yeah. I lose track, I'm done. Yeah. So, so well, obviously you do like the you know, adapted class on Wednesdays and you're doing that, that um, comp for ALS, like that, that competition for ALS. So what other things have you done to kind of help promote like the, you know, short, short stature and, um, in other Just athletes? kind of speaking out about it um i have friends like being going to wheel wad i was able to kind of meet people and like get to hear their stories um like it was you know like i want to make it even better like get bigger like not not bigger but like use my platform now and you know i have one i have a small one but it's still still one yeah so more I can use it, the better. Like I've had people reach out to me and say, thank you, like for supporting us. Thank you for like, hey, can you do this for us? Like at Wheelwad, they asked me to, if I got interviewed, like after a con, like one of the wads, they were like, can you say something about this? I'm like, yeah, like that's easy. Like make it something more difficult for me. Like not really, <laughs> but I was like, this is, these are the things that I want to do. Like if I have the ability to do it, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I just yeah. want the way I kind of see it is like CrossFit has a way to like bringing people together and like giving people something to live for or like not look, not necessarily, oh, yeah, live for and look forward to. So, yeah. I mean, 
it's been a good thing. It's been a good thing for me. Like I was in a tough spot coming out of COVID. Like I didn't know like how work was going to be like, cause we couldn't, we didn't play in at the end of 2020, 2021 because of like Ohio's like gathering rules. Mm-hmm. So like we couldn't have more than 300 people in the arena and that counted the players and officials. I'm like, well, there's a hundred people right there. I'm like, so 200 people into this 13,000 seat arena. Like that's not, that's losing money. Yeah. So, um, but it was just nice to get back to that and have something to look forward to. And now I have, you know, now I found it and I get to use it. Nice. Very cool. So uh, obviously you just won the wheel wad in December. Yep. So how hard of a competition was that for actually going there and finding all the workouts and, you know, competing with the other athletes? Oh man, that was, it was tough because like the hardest part was like with the open, we have like five days to do it. Right. Like Mm -hmm. each workout. So it's like, I have time to plan it out. And like, Obviously, everybody does it Friday night, Friday night lights. Like, if you know, if you haven't been part of that, like, it's something you should check out. That's oh, absolutely, kind of absolutely. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like the one thing that sold me. Like, I know, like, like it sold me on it, like, sold me on CrossFit altogether. And then, um, but it's like, you know, I have a couple of days to figure it out. And if I don't like how I did, then I can redo it. But like this one, it was one or done. Like, I had less than 12 hours to, kind of talk it over with my coach and figure out the plan of action. And like some of the workouts, I ended up just kind of full sending it and saying, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> it worked. Luckily it worked this time, but yeah, you know, it's like it's one of their workouts was a run. Like uh, ours was a 400 meter run, but we were carrying a plate. So it was a 25 pound plate for the first round, a 15 pound for the second, and then no weight for the third. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to carry this plate. Like, I'd, I've never thought to carry a plate while running. And so I'm like, I'm going to try. I tried, like, the, the old boombox method, like, yep. on the shoulder. Um, and then I think I ended up doing it, like, five different ways around once. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's just get to where we don't have to carry this anymore. And that way I can just kind of sprint through this. Yeah. Which I couldn't I- really sprint because it was on a hill, mud. Oof. Cause it had just rained like the night before. So I mean, we, it was a good time though. It was fun. Yeah. So did you, did you like at, towards the end, did you hold like a discus? No, like, put, yeah. put your fingers through like the hole. I did. I, I went up over here and then I switched arms and then I held it in front and I tried to bear hug it. And then I don't even remember how I ended. I think it was, I think I was like holding it like a pizza, like you're carrying a pizza box. Like I think that's how I eventually carried it. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like my arms hurt, everything hurts. Like I can't figure this out. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, so when you were at the wheel, why would you? Were you looking at the leaderboard the whole time, or you just kind of like just in your own own zone and kind of just focus it on um, the workouts? Well, like what was nice is like we could like since it was live, like we knew kind of where we were already sitting. Um, so it wasn't as much like scoreboard watching as it is like with the virtual stuff. Cause you know, I'm, I don't know what the next guy's doing. Like, I don't know how long he's holding on to that score to post it. You know, like it's a, it's part of the game, which I kind of enjoy. So I'm like, that's why I can't let up at all. Like I go full send on those, but even there, I was like, I was not like being able to kind of time myself on some of the things like I'm seeing where everybody else is. I'm like, well, I know he's got me on this. Like one of the workouts was basically four, four minute AMRAPs with a two minute break between like the first one was like a max meter row. Yeah. And then, um, then the one after that was push jerk with burpees, 10 push jerk, five burpees. And then he beat, like, I got beat by, like, six meters on the row. And I was like, come on now, Tim. Like, how did you do that? <laughs> and then I knew I was, like, I was, if the other, like, the other people, a couple of the other guys were, like, ahead of me on the push jerk and whatnot. So I was like, all right, don't kill yourself here trying to play catch up because you have two other events. And uh, then one after that, like, I was able to, it was basically box get overs. So, like, we had the luckily we weren't like the only thing we had to do was like make sure we had our hands off 
Mm -hmm. had to touch the top of the box and then um that was it so i was like i can almost hop this thing so i was like playing around with it as i'm doing it like how far can i go still hit the top of the box and it count so you know i was things like that i was able to play around with like during it and i ended up winning that one um I, I, i'll admit this but i was kind of playing with the people next to me because i could hear their judge counting their score and so i'd bur like burst ahead real quick and then I'd sit there and I'd wait and let them kind of think they're catching up. And then I'd burst back up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, all right, I got that one. And then the last one was like a four minute farmer's carry with, I think ours were 24 kilogram bells. So 53 pounds. If it, okay. Yeah. The 53. So I was like, oh, and it's up this like ramp up and down this ramp. So like, I'm like oh. this is brutal. Why is this the last thing? <laughs> That's awful. But, so, so all in all, did you like the workouts that were at Wheel One? Oh yeah, they were fun. They were challenging, um, and it's nice like having a judge there to like that that understand. Like people here understand, but they like don't understand at the same time. Like, yep. And now that I'm involved more, and like they're seeing me and everything, like they're gonna be like they're actually more strict with me now, which is even better. Which is what I want. Like hold me accountable like don't let me cheat any reps like that's what i that's what i'm having you judge me for like you know so um but it was it was they were enjoy like i enjoyed them like they were exhausting but like at the end of the day like it's a fitness competition like if you're not testing your mental like your mental even your mental toughness like yeah and what are you doing here like why are you doing the workout 